Hey carnivores, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing Filipino adobo chicken on the grill. Stick around, I'll show you how. Hey carnivores, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a really special recipe. Back in 2002, I was in Manila in the Philippines and I tasted the most amazing chicken dish. I still remember it to that day. And I have tried to recreate it and boy, I don't know if I've gotten it quite as good as it was when I had it, but my take on it, I think you're gonna find really interesting. Today we're gonna to be doing twice grilled, once braised Philippine adobo chicken. So let's jump right in. So I have here eight chicken thighs. These are heritage raised organic chicken thighs from D'Artagnan. You can do this with chicken that you can get in the grocery store. Getting heritage products, you just get so much better taste out of them. So if you wanna try the stuff that I have, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, like I said, this is organic heritage chicken, which means it was raised as a vegan or it wouldn't be on this show. If you're, uh, if you're new here, by the way, you don't know what that means. Eat More Vegans is all about meat. So we eat grass and grain fed beef. We eat chicken and pork that was raised on corn. We eat field raised, pasture raised, goat and lamb, all that kind of stuff. They were all raised as vegans and we eat them, hence the name, Eat More Vegans. So if that's your kind of jam, I hope you'll consider subscribing on Facebook, following us on Instagram, subscribing on our YouTube channel, and tell your friends too, because this is for all the carnivores that like good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our chicken. So I'm gonna start by putting a binder on it. My favorite binder, if you've been here before, is of course duck fat spray. If you haven't been here before, you now know that my favorite is duck fat spray. There we go. So we've got the duck fat spray on there and now our, I'm just gonna season this with salt, pepper, and garlic. Now that's not the only flavor we're gonna have, but that's what we're gonna start with. Trust me, this is gonna be a big flavor bomb. Okay, I'm gonna go throw these in the refrigerator while we make our brace. Be right back. Okay, while the chicken sits in the refrigerator, let's get started making our braising liquid. And if you're wondering why the chicken's in the refrigerator, it's all about food safety. So while we're doing this, no reason to let it sit out at room temperature. Now I'm gonna be making a pretty basic adobo sauce. And uh, if you're watching this and you're Filipino, you're right. Your mother makes it better and your grandmother makes it better than I do but this is gonna be a really good alternative. And I think you're gonna find that with the grill and the way that the grill works, I'm gonna get a different flavor profile and maybe it's one that you'll like almost as much as your mom's. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna start with some authentic Filipino products. This is Datu Puti soy sauce. It's actually made in the Philippines. I'm gonna put in a half a cup. And this is Dachuputi cane vinegar, also from the Philippines. You can buy this stuff at most Asian grocery stores. You can also get it on Amazon, so I'll put a link in the description uh, in case you don't have an Asian grocery store nearby. So one cup of cane vinegar. I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of, this is golden monk fruit sweetener because I'm a keto guy. If you're not on keto, you can use brown sugar. I kind of like the taste of the monk fruit better anyway, but we're gonna put in two tablespoons. I've got two teaspoons of black peppercorns, whole black peppercorns. Got eight garlic cloves that I crushed and five bay leaves. And that is our whole braise. So the smoker's up to temperature. I'll meet you at the grill. Hey, welcome to the backyard. If you've been here before, you recognize Darth, our uh, extra large big green egg. You recognize Yoda probably, our uh, pellet smoker from Yoda, the YS1500. Today we're gonna be cooking on Darth. Darth is running at 425 degrees using Fogo Premium hardwood charcoal, and I've got some cherry chunks in there for flavor. And we're running for direct heat. As uh, you'll see here, I've got plate setter out. So we're gonna have direct heat that's gonna help us to grill the chicken. And also it's gonna help us uh, with the pot that we're gonna be cooking in. So let's go ahead and get this stuff on the grill. Luca, your father. 
Okay, I'm gonna start by putting our braising liquid right in the middle over our hot coals. And we're gonna go ahead and bring this up to a simmer uncovered right here on the grill. And then we're gonna put our chicken around the outside here and get cooking over direct heat. We're gonna start skin side down. Okay, we're gonna let that cook for about two minutes. Okay, we're just gonna turn these over and get a little bit of char on the other side. We're just doing this for flavor right now. Okay, now that we got just a little bit of smoke flavor, we're gonna put these skin side down into our pot. All right, we're gonna close this and we're gonna let these simmer and braise in there for about 20 minutes and we'll come back out and check them. Okay, we've got a nice boil. By the way, I uh, washed the tongs while we were waiting because we were handling raw chicken with those, so food safety matters. All right, we're gonna give these about another 10 minutes before we check temperature. We're trying to bring these up to 160 degrees, and then we're gonna sear them the rest of the way to 170. So we'll give them a few more minutes to braise and we'll check them again. These look good. I'm gonna check the temperatures, see how close we are to 160 here. It's time. Let's get these grilling. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in the braising liquid and I'm gonna take it off of the heat and let this soak for just a couple of minutes and then we'll be back to taste. Hey, welcome back. If you've been here before, you know Leah. Leah's my nine-year-old who is uh, getting to be quite the professional food critic. We're doing something new, Leah. So with all of my Filipino friends, the editors from VidChops and my friend Rob, who coaches on YouTube, uh, we made a Filipino dish. So this, you ready to see? This is called chicken adobo. You heard me talk about it. It smells great. It does smell good, right? So I did it a little differently because I did it twice grilled, once braised. Usually it's only braised. Let's go ahead and get it out. And then we're gonna serve it. The traditional serving is on rice, but I'm a keto person. So for me, it's gonna be cauliflower rice. But if you're making this dish, Go ahead and use rice. And we're gonna lay it out like this. Oh my God, I wish you guys could smell this. We got a bay leaf there, we don't want the bay leaf. Well, at least now I know what are the ingredients. That's right, a bay leaf is in there and there's uh, vinegar and soy sauce. I'm assuming there's garlic. There is garlic, you can smell the garlic, can't ya? And then this nice thick sauce, I'm just gonna drizzle over the rice and the chicken. I think there's like some sort of broth in that. Well, we made our own broth, right? Okay, now it comes time to taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull some chicken apart here so that we have some chicken to taste. It, oh, look at how have, tender that does is. Does it have bones? Uh, it does, but I'm gonna pull it apart so you don't have to taste the bones. You don't have to put those I in I just mind. wanna make sure. All right, so here's a piece for Leah. You wanna grab some, uh, grab that and grab some uh, rice with it. And uh, let me make one right here. This one's for you guys. And then I'll take, uh, are we gonna do it with our hands? Okay, let me reach in. All right, are you ready? Cheers, cheers. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. The chicken's great. Yeah, that too, without food in my mouth. 
This, you know, it's pretty close to what I tasted in Manila, but you can really get the grilled flavor, can't you? Okay, Leo, let's run the MTY. Is it moist? Yeah. All right, is it tender? How'd I do in the yummy? Definitely yummy. Definitely yummy? Okay, so shout out to those of you, my friends and supporters in the Philippines. Thank you, I hope I've lived up to enough to at least maybe not threaten your mother and grandmother's recipe, but give you something to try. If you like this one, check out this video right here where I made beer can chicken. And if you've already seen that one, check this one out down here. We'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.